You guys, this is honestly just so exciting. Oh my god. Why am I yelling? You guys, seriously though, like, like look, look at this. This and this and this one. It's a flippin' Krabby Patty. It's just my it's my childhood. Oh my god. Oh my god, where do I start? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have never been on this side of the sea tracks, get it? Because of the ocean. Anyways, so if you guys have not been on this side of the sea tracks, over here we have fun. My name is Maria Gloria. I make videos in and around the makeup world, but not just that. We review a lot of stuff here. Sometimes it's clothing, sometimes it's shoes, sometimes it's cartoon makeup. We have fun here. So yeah, for those of you guys who don't know me, that's what be happening. For those of you guys who do know me, what's good? How are you, baby girl? I'm so excited for this video. We are gonna be reviewing the Wet n Wild SpongeBob Collection. This one is an exciting one. It has my heart and it has just my childhood, my memories and my appetite. So it's gonna be a good time. I think so. I bought the whole collection. By the way, I bought my collection off of Amazon. I don't know if they still sell it. I will hook it up in the description down below if it if I can link it and you guys can find like the whole collection somewhere because this stuff yo like it's it's v cute it's so cute there's like a whole Krabby Patty in here you don't even Sabiskay you don't even know this is the Wet Wild brush cleansing pads what you clean your brushes in here Ira es una lechuga yo that's lettuce in Spanish by the way Ira it means buns. <laughs> These are so freaking cute. Oh, I'm so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and review this. I'm gonna go ahead and do a look, review every single product in this collection. We got sponges, brush cleaners, brochas. Gary's up in this hoe, so you know it's gonna be a good time there. We got a whole eyeshadow palette and a whole highlight. You wanna know what it's called? It's just called the SpongeBob highlighter, but it's cute, okay? I love how Spongebob has a highlighter named after him before most beauty gurus here on YouTube. That's saying something. Yo, we stand that hard. Oh, look at the sponge. Oh my God. That's his whole face. Oh, that looks like my chancla. I'm not even joking. You see it? It bears some resemblance. Don't tell me it doesn't. So yeah, guys, we're just gonna play, review, swatch do all these things because oh gosh oh lord oh why is that so pretty we're gonna have fun today guys honestly the woman of your dreams deserves it but so does your inner child and today we're gonna play with her that came out weird but you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying no sean cochinas i like how they hooked it up with like cleanser these days we never get like the brush cleaning system we never get like that we just get makeup this is the hydrating brightening priming mist and this is the purifying setting mist. Oh, we got both. Love that. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. And it's for anywhere, anytime at all, down here in the deep blue sea. Tell me I'm not a stan. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this because I want to. I'm gonna use the BFF one. It smells really good, but that's also terrifying because that means it has a lot of alcohol in it. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. For SpongeBob, I'll let it slide. Let's go ahead and start off with the eyeballs. We got this whole palette. This is the Krusty Krab Nautical Nonsense Palette. I already went ahead and primed and did my brows. We taped it up. We are Gucci Mane and Keecha, good to go. We got mayonnaise. <laughs> Mayonnaise. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my eyeball. I honestly hate mayonnaise, but but again for a Bob Esponja, whatever, man. I don't really know what kind of look I want to go for. I really want to do like right by my man's, but I also do have a doctor's appointment to go to. They're gonna check my cervix dilation, which I don't know what that means, but it sounds fun. So I don't want to look too crazy, is what I'm trying to say. Now we're going to go in with one eternity later. That was good, huh? I'm a woman of many talents. I'm also a woman lacking many talents, but we won't go there. Like, I can't whistle, but don't bring it up around me, is all I'm saying. Yo, one eternity later really is taking like one eternity later to build up the pigment that I want. But it is blending, and it's a really pretty shadow. It's a super pretty transition color. It might not be the most pigmented, but that's okay. I'm honestly here more for the experience and the makeup, and I know I shouldn't be, but it is what it is. Let's go in with Howdy Y'all. So cute. And we're just gonna focus this one more into our crease. 
see if we can build up that intensity of this brown which we can and that's good stuff I'm dying to try out any of these shimmers. I do want to try this baby blue one because I feel like like I gotta try this baby blue one. Like it's calling my what are what is your name? I I Captain. Oh I'm gonna pee my pants of excitement this whole video. Also, because there's a seven-pound baby on my bladder, but that's besides the point. You guys look how pretty that is. It's like coating the brush so much already. Let me grab it with my phalange. Yo, I never do blue shadow, but how can we not? Yo, butter my biscuits, that's pretty. Let's see if it translates on the eyes though, because swatching is one thing. Los ojitos, it's another. Okay, so on the eyeballs, she do be messy. Maybe if I lay a better base down. Let me grab this gold one, which I believe is Shady Shoals. This, and let's see if this could maybe be a base for the blue one. Honestly, guys, this might have to be a situation where we wet our brush first, which we are okay with doing that. Sometimes that's just what has to happen, and it's okay. Definitely dampen your brush before going into these like they're really pretty glitters but they're not very well pressed together so they just kind of flail all over the place which is okay guys i'm not really expecting much out of this whole collection other than nostalgia which i'm getting so much of also cravings for cheeseburgers yo check out my chammer <laughs> oh i look like a million seashells or maybe like a million and one i don't know I don't know how much that converts to in American dollars, but it's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I will say this palette is mad messy, but anyways. I am gonna go ahead and grab this blue now with my Scott Barnes 6-2 brocha. This blue is called Bikini Bottom. Honestly, guys, it's the shade name Fermi. This blue is not really doing much for me, but it's fine. I honestly just want to go back and build up the brown shades. You know what? The more I build up the brown shades, the more I lose the glitter. So it's one of those things where it's like, do you want to keep the glitter or do you want to intensify this whole look? Because the glitter is not really staying the way I want the glitter to be staying, which is a shame. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go in with Gare Bear now, again, just to intensify the look as much as I can. Gare Bear is a matte shade, so hopefully this helps. Yeah, see, like, where did the glitter go? <laughs> Hello? Okay, I think we're just going to have to leave that there, guys. Because a lot of glitter is falling into my eye. And I don't think that's safe. So, this is probably going to be about as good as I can get the eyeshadow look. At least the one that we're going for today, guys. I really did want to go for the glitters. I'm going to go ahead and quickly run some eyeliner on my face. Then we're going to come back, touch on these brochas, maybe finish off the eyes. I don't know. We have so much to do. You guys, this glitter is seriously like all over the pinche place. And it's making me gonna wanna freaking throw a BF, yo. A PF. Not even a BF. Bear off it. I'm just kidding. But not really. I wouldn't be surprised if I found glitter in my freaking butthole, dude. Like, this is crazy. Like, there's just so much. I'm not gonna lie, yo. Like, this palette is cute. Y toda la cosa. Pero, like, she's messy. She's sucia. Okay, I went ahead and did my eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. Get these sponges wet. So I have the SpongeBob one, which I already showed you. We have Squidward, Patrick, SpongeBob, Me Chancla. And for the sake of today's video, we're just gonna go ahead and use Patrick. Cause Patrick looks like it's like the right shape. And I might also use SpongeBob. Squidward can chill though. He's also got a Fuji face. And I don't need that attitude right now. I really don't. With this much glitter, my baby, calm down. So this is what the sponge has looked like dry. I'm gonna go ahead and tray songs it, like I said, or get it wet, whatever you didn't understand there. Iralos, iralos, washale. They got thickums with like three C's, yo. Honestly, Patrick is like the perfect shape. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this one. Maybe just like slice up perra, but. Either way, I'm still here for it. And I'm still like in high hopes with this collection, guys. I know we had like some ish going on with the ojitos. I still have ish going on with the ojitos. Like literally every time I blink, it's like Tinkerbell is like leaving little toots all over my face. Like so much glitter has fallen. Like every time I blink, it's just like little doot, 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 doot. But it's fine. I'm still here for it, guys. I'm still here for it. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face real quick. Uh, I know I already tried on the priming spray, but I do need some extra primer and maybe this primer might remove some of the glitter because I don't want to go home looking like I just got back from a strip club. <sighs> Not today. 
For my foundation, we are going to go ahead and stick to the Wet n Wild theme and use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I use the shade Golden Honey or Miel de Oro. And we are just going to go ahead with Patricio here. I mean Patricio. Oops. And we are going to blend and blend and blend. You guys, I just realized... Um, to get this foundation to blend out, I literally had to make Patricio twerk on my face. I mean, when it comes down to the science of it, let's call it what it is. Don't ever tell me twerking didn't help you, at least in some instance in your life. I don't want to hear it. For SpongeBob's twerk dance, we're going to go ahead and cream bronze with him because I really want to use this sponge for something. Ooh. Oh, that's damn near perfect. Wow, SpongeBob. Keep it going, dude. I, I look so tan though. I really do look so tan. And this sponge helped me do it with a quickness. So we're not mad. He looked like he had an accident though. Oh, that's embarrassing. Gross. For my concealer, I'm gonna go back into Patrick. Have him do his little dance as well. Hello? For real? You know, I never thought Patrick's face would be the perfect shape to blend out my concealer under my ojitos. But the thing is guys, you really do learn new things every single day. And today was just one of those things. I look snatched, yo. Okay, these sponges absolutely killed it on the complexion. Like this one was perfect to like cream bronze and all that stuff and like really chisel out my cheekbones. I bet you if I was still in my baking life and really powdering to set my face, this would be like perfect because I could like literally just slice a bee with this sponge. But since my skin and I really aren't on that journey anymore, there's no need. But I will say for cream bronzing, yo, real eyes, real eyes, real eyes. Game recognized game. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to these. Little brush eyes. Okay, so we got Sandy. I was wondering when Sandy was gonna make her little appearance. Sandy was never really my favorite character, but like, she cute. SpongeBob again, ready to just slice a beat. Who are you mad at, dog? Like, who are you trying to throw hands at? This is actually gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and use little Sandy Cachetes over here. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. With this brocha. And this is, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, this is obviously just for the sake of this video. Will I ever use this brush again for this? Probably not. Will I ever use it again, period? No. Is it gonna make a cute little vanity piece? Yes. It's just not practical. It's just like really like chunky. But she is setting my eyes quite nicely though. I'm dying to try this. I'm gonna go ahead and use this with my bronzer, however. This is probably gonna be a dupe for the NARS Eda brush, which I'm not gonna lie, is like $50 or something like that. Like that something redonkulous so if we found a dupe for that yo you're welcome i don't ever contour my nose but when in the ocean it's kind of sad when you realize that this is like the first wet wild collection that didn't come with lip options and you were like super hyped for the lip options Anyways, the only thing we have left now is the highlight, which I've heard gorgeous things about because Wet n Wild is known for their highlights, yo. Well, at least I know them for their highlights and their foundations and their concealers and their powders and their eyeshadows. I also want to touch it, like I don't want to ruin it. All right, so this is the SpongeBob highlight in SpongeBob. Ooh, ugh, oh, stop, yo. I'm gonna pop that in the center of my ojitos, yo, cause that's gorgeous. Oof. I love gold. I guess you can go ahead and just set all this down. I don't want to dog on this collection. And I'm not going to, because you know what? I think that I kind of would have liked to have been wowed, but I kind of got what I was expecting in a way. When big brands like When Wild do collections with like, something as a big and as known as spongebob i don't think they really go for like quality when it comes to their product they more so just want to give you guys an experience guys you're not buying spongebob makeup again for the quality you're buying it for the nostalgia you're buying it for the fun you're buying it for the little cute cositas you're gonna get you know what i'm saying you don't really go in saying like oh for my wedding day this is the what, you know what I'm saying? Or my quince, or my primera comunión, or whatever sacrament you're trying to clean your sins with. I don't I don't know your life. But I will say that some of the makeup was actually really good. Like the highlight, bomb. The highlight, I'm probably gonna like just bathe it for the rest of my life. It is probably the most perfect 
summer gold highlight I've ever seen in my life. I love the fact that they actually gave us a SpongeBob sponge. That would have been a huge missed opportunity. And truth be told, guys, these went wild sponges. They're dope. Patrick's neck and, and both of their twerking, like it was... It was a solid eight out of 10, you know? I don't get the point of the burger brush cleaner, but I think it's a cute idea. I love this brush. The palette, I would say, is inexperienced because she's messy, but I will say that the matte eyeshadows are pretty okay. Again, I'm not really here to hype up the formula of a SpongeBob eyeshadow palette, and I'm not going to. So there's my feelings on that. Will I reuse it? Ugh. I do love the sprays. I think the sprays were such a fun idea and I love that we at least got like a prepping, priming, and a setting spray. So this was super cute. The one thing that I didn't really use was this, but this is supposed to like contain your esponjas or whatever the F, cause it's like his house or whatever. Um, the brush cleaner, I'm excited to use it. I think that was a good idea to be put in here, but I would have wished we would have gotten some lippy options. That would have been cool. And that's where I'm gonna stand, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time filming this video. I did get a little frustrated at some point, but that's just me being a Capricorn and doing Capricorn things. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a like, a comment, a share, a hey how you doing pal, or um, a hug would be great. And also maybe something so this glitter doesn't cut up my ojitos cause it's still just a sprinkle in a way. Please remember that I love you guys and I want you to know one thing, my honesty is always gonna remain to you guys. I'm never gonna push a product to you that I don't absolutely love. I just think this is a fun little collection to add to your makeup collection, if that makes any sense, if you're someone who grew up with SpongeBob, just like I did. At the end of the day, guys, it's a makeup. It washes off at the end of the day. It's nothing to be taken too seriously and it's just fun. So if you wanna treat yourself to this, I say go for it. I don't care. Do what you want with your coins, with your seashells, with your pebbles. I'm not here to judge clearly i love you so much and please remember baby girl even when it comes to gimmicky cartoon makeup baby girl it's crazy what you deserve Mwah.